Hi everybody, Laura here, and I am really looking forward to this video. We once again have the lovely Jenna Lynn here to chat with us. Hi, Jenna Lynn. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for coming on. She last joined us when we talked about the Tinkerbell Half Marathon Expo and 5K, and we all remember from the 5K how there was only one character out, but Jenna Lynn and her crew made the absolute most of it by getting these awesome, amazing photographs throughout the parks, Disneyland, California, uh, California Adventure. They were so cute, so adorable. So I have asked her to put together on the course maps locations of all these great photo opportunities. Quick note, we are going to have the maps available on the blog. So if you would like to go there, I'm gonna be putting the link below and you can print out a copy of your own because I for sure am going to make a challenge with Jackie. We're going to get every single one of them, gentlemen. So Good. I can't again, wait to see them. Again, thanks for putting all the work into this. Let's get right into it because I, I cannot wait to hear what you have for us. Yeah, thanks, Laura. It's fun to be back on again. I think, I think this is a great topic. Um, it's great for myself because I think one of the main reasons I'll do a Disney, I do Disney races is because I love taking pictures. And for me, um, especially out in Disneyland, it doesn't have to be character pictures. Um, I think at Disneyland, they, it is the best uh, park to both California Adventure and Disneyland to get fantastic photos and you can avoid the lines of the characters and you have great memories of the race. I think for those individuals watching the show we'll, that are just doing the 5K, we'll talk about the 5K um, course because a lot of that route is in both of the parks. And then in the 10K and a half, there's some additional areas in the parks that um, you could get, get some bonus pictures for. We're going to start talking about some of those. So when you take off on that 5K route, you will have some road time, but not too much. And it's worth it because the best picture maybe in the whole run is when you walk in or you're coming around the corner and you're going into Cars Land. And yeah. I know, Laura, yes, you've talked about that one before. It is spectacular. It is. Oh, my goodness. So beautiful. And It'll be a little bit um, dark still, so all the lights will be up with the, the mountains and rocks, and you'll turn the corner. Now, I always say that's a nice spot. When you're first turning um, into that Cars Land, quick pull over to the left-hand side, and there's a nice kind of break um, in an area that you can stand and get a nice picture looking into Cars Land before you're actually into that park area. So I would say that would be a first stop for everybody. But don't go all the way in. you got to stop before you get into the park. The one that once you start um, getting into Cars Land, though, you will notice on the right hand side there'll be some kind of railings, but there'll be lots of signs. Um, and there's a really fun one there that says Darn Near Fainted. And it's definitely a place you need to, and it, it is kind of tricky because you'll be on the, um, as, as you're coming in, I guess it's the left side, I might have said right. But then you need to kind of get back into the runners and veer over to the right side so that you can take a picture with those signs that li are lined up against kind of a, a car railing area. That's a really fun spot to get a shot. I'm going to get on and I'm going to hashtag it darn near faded, fainted. Yes. <laughs> That'll be cute. Okay. And you, and you need list. to for sure pose, though. You have to, you know, give it, give yes. it a good one. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So the mountains are great. The signs are great. But we're going to move along. And on the 5K, you're going to go through Bugs Land. There's not a lot of great picture spots, um, but, but you could be creative. So you could go through Bugs Land. And you're going to go around the corner by Mater's Junkyard Jamboree. And then there, right across from near that area, you'll see the Cars Land sign. That's kind of a fun place um, to take a picture if you want that sign. Mm. Um, you can also look down the street, and it may be light lit up. You would probably go down that street. I forget the name of it, um, but it would be a place near the sign to stand um, and also get the background um, of, of the Cars Land area. Nice. It's near the Cozy Cone and. Um, yeah, so that's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So um, as we kind of move along, you're going to um, go past uh, the, the, uh, the wine country uh, restaurant, and you'll get to the like, Little Mermaid ride. So now for the 5K, 
you're going to be taking a quick right. But if you look to the left, that's where Paradise Pier is, and it's soon to be called Pixar Pier. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that was a different topic. <laughs> yeah. So for the 5K, this is your Pixar Pier opportunity picture, um, and and you you shouldn't you won't be coming back around to this area. So this is where you need to get off to the left hand side. It'll be very, really open. There tends to be cast members there. Um, two years ago, they used to have a photo pass person in that area. Now, the last time I was at Tink, they did not. Mm. So that means that you're using your own phone to take those pictures. But it's a fantastic place to get the fun wheel um, and, and the roller coaster back there. And it's a wonderful spot to take your joyful jump shots. Um, and usually, like I said, there's a cast member there. You, you might have to teach them how to take the joyful jump shots with a cell phone. Um, not everybody knows how to hold it down and um, take the 25 pictures to choose the best one. Um, but the great thing about running a Disney race is you can ask another runner who's also stopping in that area to help you take a picture, and you just need to make sure you reciprocate after they've taken your group picture yeah. that you do the same for them. Okay, so we're gonna take off from um, Pixar Pier area, and it'll, it'll ride around the Redwood Creek um, Challenge Trail area. It, there's the Grizzly River Run ride, um, and a really great spot in that location are these really large bears. Mm -hmm. um, they're super huge and you can't miss them. No, I think there's cannot, um, but they make adorable pictures mm -hmm. and it's great for one person or four people, whoever, six people, whoever, whoever's in your group, but mm -hmm. the more the barrier. And when we came through there last, uh, when we came through there, there was a cast member there. It wasn't a photo pass, but you can always ask cast members nine times out of 10. Well, actually probably 10 times out of 10. They're more than willing to take a picture for you. Mm -hmm. So. Well, the great thing about cast members is they like to be in the picture with you sometimes, and that can be a lot of fun. I, I have so many cast member pictures, and um, I love it. Selfies and otherwise. Um, there's uh, trolley conductors. Uh, at Tink, there's pirates. I mean, there's so many fun care, uh, cast members that, that just love being part of your experience. So I say take advantage of it. We always do like in front of the trolley where one of us is lying on the ground like we've just been run over and the other one's like, and the, the trolley drivers always get in on the action. It's, it's so mm -hmm. fun. It's like one of our favorite places to stop. I have I'm those too. To that one, so I'm sorry. I'm jumping ahead. No, it's awesome. I'm glad you, I'm glad you talked about it. That's, it's, it's a, it's a must have picture for sure. Yes. So as we're coming out of that river, um, Grizzly River area, you will come up near the Soren ride and there is a, uh, uh, airplane there that you know you might think oh it's an airplane but you know go over there and be an airplane take a picture with your friends it's I think a great it's a cute picture and it's it's a great opportunity again to stop and get some of the of the wonderful sights um, in these parks so as we um, kind of cruise by Soren we're going to be um, coming into the the Carthay Circle um, across the street from, it's like Buena Vista Street, uh, still in California Adventure. And I think that area is called Hollywood Land. Um, a, right across from Carthay Circle, the restaurant, there will be a statue of Walt and Mickey. Yeah. Um, I think this is a fantastic place to stop for a picture. And I think one thing I haven't mentioned yet, but when you go to these locations, there's never really a line. And I mean, you can just, kind of get out of the way of the runners to stop yeah. um, take a picture it may be a couple people but there's never a wait so it shouldn't make you feel panic that you're falling behind or that you know it should compromise you finishing the race in time right. I don't think um, so as you're in that area and you're going down Buena Vista Street you will head towards the Hyperion Theater um, and there's like a city backdrop in that area. Um, I think it's a, another great spot. I almost always find three or four runners also waiting. Um, and you see a lot of groups of people taking a picture there. I think that's a wonder, wonderful place to stop as well. Uh, and then, of course, uh, as you turn the corner, the newest and greatest and latest ride is Guardians of the Galaxy. 
And yes. how can we not get that one? That is so amazing on the outside. If you haven't seen it yet, it is impressive. And have that awesome music playing in the back of your head. <laughs> It is so cool. So definitely stop there. Show some muscles. Um, just it's really neat. Kind of get it a different angle. I know we took one, uh, a couple different kinds of pictures there, but uh, we had someone kind of get down um, with the angle of us, and then looking up at the the new uh, building. I mean, it's the same building, but it looks a lot different. Mm -hmm. So it's kind. You can make a lot, have a lot of fun with that one. I think Guardians is maybe our last location um, in California Adventure for the 5K, and then you'll get some of that backstage time again. Now, I think I've heard that they don't like uh, people taking pictures backstage. I try to honor that, whether it's true or not. There is some kind of cute things back there if you keep your eyes open. Um, but uh, and I have seen people take pictures back there, but I personally do not. And I definitely don't stop back there either to do a group picture. Um, when you continue on with that 5K, um, we, we're going we're gonna to do that backstage area, and then we're going to move into the Disneyland area. And for the 5K, you enter in through Tomorrowland. Uh, it's kind of quiet back there and a bit empty as you're running through, which is really quite peaceful um, to see the park with not as many people in it. Um, but the, I always stop uh, in the Tomorrowland because you'll see Hyperspace Mountain sign and the Star, Star Tour sign. I always stop and get a picture there. So we're going to um, move um, through Tomorrowland and then we'll go up and around Matterhorn Bobsleds and then uh, move into Fantasyland. And uh, there's some fun places in Fantasyland. I think one that's used by a lot of people, I think I've seen you in this, um, in Fantasyland is the, it's the teacup. Yes. Yeah. Pictures with the teacup. That's a great one. It's kind of a fun place to, to uh, get inside. There's usually a bit of a line, but it's never long. It's just like really a minute or two, but definitely stop there. And then um, you you talked about the Dumbo car, Laura. Yes, um, I can't re I can't remember exactly which race it was. I think it was the ten k. No, 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 it was a half. It was a half because we were wearing Dumbo costumes, and we saw a girl veer off to the right really fast, and she was dressed as Dumbo, and she went up. It was a little bit not far off course, but you know you weren't able to like see it directly. She ran up to Dumbo, and there was a cast member up there. And what do you call them? Like the test ride test cars whatever to make sure you can fit uh she got in that and she did a really cute pose like that so of course i made rob go up there and do the same pose and that was really fun that was a really cute one but mm -hmm. I, I we don't we, it's kind of hard to nail down exactly but if you do run by dumbo or you see dumbo go up and hit that one too definitely for disneyland half weekend that would be a great stop and i unfortunately don't have it but i will get it um so we're going to be close to the castle now and that's always a big um thrill for everyone, especially if it's your first race. And you'll be coming through the castle uh, from the fantasy land and then out through the front. Um, I don't usually take any pictures on the fantasy land side. As you're going through the castle, you, there will be photo pass people mm -hmm. um, as you're running. And then we, for at least think we tear, we veered off to the right. But what I do is I veer off to the left. And um, the reason we do that is so that we can do a standing picture, my group of friends um, or myself, do a standing picture in front of the castle okay. instead of the ones that PhotoPass takes, and that's just a running picture. Okay. Um, and so if you veer to the left, you can just pause there. Now, again, two years ago, they had a PhotoPass person there. Um, this last spring, they did not. Mm -hmm. So you, you do need to use your own phone. Um, but then you can also take your joyful jump fresh shot in front of the castle, which is critically important. There you go. Um, yep. And then you can take your group shots or a single shot with the castle. And when you're done with those, then you can kind of just be very careful about getting back into the stream of runners. Mm -hmm. And I, th I would say that really for any of these photographs, you have to be um, really courteous to those that are more serious about keeping the pace and, and not stopping for pictures and, and you, you wouldn't want to trip anyone or yeah, injure anyone. Um, because uh, Pictures are important, but not that important that we bother um, any other runners. Um, so as we take a, a turn around the castle here, 
we you have to also kind of think um, about the hub is what I call it, that circular area that's in front of the castle. Yeah, that's um, what you're talking about. It's an absolute must-stop area. Um, I would say there was maybe five people, four people in line at that area, and take your picture with Walt and Mickey um, with the castle behind. It's a beautiful picture. It's There's gorgeous. very pretty flowers. Um, it's an absolute must-have. Mm -hmm. So as we move down from that um, Walt and Mickey statue, we're going to go down Main Street. And one thing that they had out um, at the Tink, and I'm, I'm guessing you'll see it at your races, is uh, the fire in front of the fire station, you'll see the fire truck mm -hmm. um, or some kind of like a trolley car of some yes. sort. But you yes, can we got a picture with that last year. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's really cool is it's um, that you take the picture at the fire station angle, but if you look up above the little window of the um, the the area that Walt uh, could look down at the park, his little light is shining up there. So oh. try to get that. It's really special. Try to get that in your picture because it's just kind of Walt looking down at everybody enjoying their, their run at Disneyland. Nice. Mm -hmm. So uh, that area is the towards the front of the park, and then you're going to go um, out to the front entrance. Um, and instead of uh, running by the front entrance, again, pull off to the, I believe it'll be the left for you. Um, but again, be careful of the runner traffic. Um, but it's a great spot to get a picture of the train station behind you. And then there should be that grass um, Disneyland emblem. And uh, we got some beautiful pictures, especially two years ago when it was the um, anniversary. Mm -hmm. But that's a really nice spot to get a picture uh, of the, the train station. So the 5K, that, that brings you almost uh, back into downtown Disney then and to the finish line. Um, and that would be your 5K run. But we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the 10K because there are some locations in the park that you get to also um, take pictures at that you don't get in the 5K. And I think these are really important spots because you can take some really fun pictures. Um, and so one of those areas is uh, when you're going through Disneyland, you'll get some more time um, over in the Adventureland area. Um, and you definitely can stop in front of the Jungle Cruise um, ride. Um, you can see the sign there. You know, I think there's some like tiki torches or something. I, and uh, we definitely stop and get a picture there. Um, and then you'll move um, through the New Orleans area and, of course, go by the Haunted Mansion. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yes. You need to stop at the Haunted Mansion. You'll see the gates. You can see the house behind you. Um, and definitely give it a pose because it looks very spooky, um, but it's definitely a must have. Um, another thing, another area, um, I think when you're coming in for the 10K and or half, maybe both, you're going to come into Disneyland back by Toontown. And uh, again, you're going to come in kind of quickly and one of the uh, first things you'll see it'll be as you're coming in on the right hand side a green I think it's a goofy car um, that you can get into and it's got a mailbox there um, and we did a no-no a rudder no-no I think when we were there and we kind of saw it after the fact and we did one of those things I told you not to do run across runner traffic you know cut some people off to get the green car Tune down picture. I've got to get this picture, please. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But we got it. We maybe we made a couple of people mad. I'm sorry if you're watching, but we absolutely got our Tune Town um, green car picture, and um, it was a blast. It turned out wonderful, and uh, that's a definitely a fun spot um, to stop. Uh, yeah, and especially if you, you act like you're the one who just hit the mailbox, so if you're like, ah, so there you go. That's yes. a good one. Like you're being thrown out of the car. <laughs> and in case you have to go to the restroom, there are some in the park that are near that area. So, you know, just stay on the right-hand side and you can veer off. Um, okay. and make, yes, I know. Mm -hmm. You have to add that in because all these yes. pictures, you know, it yes. it's bound to happen. 
um, as you go through Toontown, I mean, think about there is a number of cool houses I, mm -hmm. that belong to all the different characters. So, I mean, choose one of your favorites or get a couple of them. Um, and and it makes for a really great uh, backdrop. So They had a trolley. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember which race it was for, but they had the tro uh, trolley there too, a trolley car. Um, when we came through, Rob and I got a picture on that. So again, I'll put that up and I'll, I'll say what race that's from. Um, once you get through Toontown, you will pass It's a Small World. And that's always so beautiful to me. I just love that area. Um, now for Tink, it was not lit up. Um, and for the 5K, uh, we actually, I think we did, we did go by it for the 5K um, at Tink, uh, but it, it didn't make for a great picture because it was rather dark and they were spraying, uh, they had, like, had Tinkerbell lit up on it, flying mm -hmm. or something. But if it is lit up and it's still a little bit dark, definitely stop. It's just very beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful there. Mm -hmm. uh, another really fun thing, and I cannot tell you where it was, but there was an uh, orange car. Um, it was during the half. I'm not sure where it was located. I apologize. I, I tried to figure it out, um, but there was an orange car and it was like, it was like the teacup you could, Oh, actually, she wouldn't let us get in it, but she did say we could go um, next to the car. Okay. And so we definitely um, stopped there and tried I to will find that out. And I will, I will get that information for you. Yeah. See if you can, I, okay. I can't remember where it was. So. Challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know one thing that your team really loves to do, but I think it's, I, I think it's really fun photo opportunities are those mile marker signs. Yes. Yeah. Um, and for each race, they're a little, they're very unique. Some are more beautiful or funny than others, but I, I mean, it marks the spot and, and it's kind of a, a fun place to have a lot of fun with it. So as we end uh, the races, any of the races, one picture that I always take with my sisters and with my friends is a photograph at the end um, at, after we've gotten through the finish line. And uh, they do like to keep you moving um, at the finish line. But I will say, my experiences at Disneyland, they tend to uh, take a turn um, as soon as you get through the finish line. And you can kind of get off to the side or, or kind of go um, up ahead a little bit. Um, they have a lot of people, like cast members or, or people working at the race that will be very happy to take your picture. And um, one picture my friend Nikki and I always take is is one together um, with a little hug or something so you can see that finish line um, arch behind us. Right. Um, and that, that's kind of a special picture. Another one I, I do is a little selfie with my sisters um, if we're doing a race, again, with that finish line um, arch behind us. So I think just you have to be very careful not to get in runner's ways. And then um, just listen to the cast members um, directing you and be respectful of where yeah. you can and cannot be. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, I think another important thing we can't forget to talk about is after our race is done uh, and we go back to our room and we clean up, we have to put those medals on. They're so beautiful and we have to be so proud to wear them. Um, but one thing that I always do with my friends and my sisters when we're at these races is we take a picture in front of the castle or in that hub area with our medals on. Mm -hmm. And we take that picture after each race, but the most important one is the one usually on Sundays mm -hmm. after you've done the 5K, the 10K, the half, if you're doing the challenge. Um, so you have that challenge medal. And we very proudly hold all those medals um, at one time and have a beautiful picture with the castle. And you can usually find photo pass people in those areas to take the pictures. Um, another really fun area to take pictures with your medals is the front entrance of the Disneyland Park. Um, I've seen people uh, have the Disneyland sign behind them or they put their medals on the fence. Um, and just display the medals in the uh, sequence of, of, of obtaining them. 
So yeah, we've done that. We've done that before, and it's so pretty. The colors are just gorgeous there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a wonderful idea. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the, there's another place uh, back in Fantasyland, uh, behind the castle area, um, and it's it's near the little door that you can go into to walk through the castle and see the story. Um, but there's a fountain. I've seen people lay their medals on a water fountain area there. Um, it's made a really pretty picture. Okay, that's going to go on our list. We're going to put that on the challenge list. We will find that. I don't, I never seen a picture. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but I will figure it out. So challenge accepted. I haven't personally done it, but I have seen others do it. It's a really pretty area. And then another thing um, that uh, I've seen people do is they uh, go into the park uh, that right after they, they're done with their race and they get a yummy snack because they've like earned something really delicious and they put their medal on the yummy snack. And there's so many cute little snacks. If you get a really pretty cocktail or something to yeah. celebrate, put your prop your medal against that, you know. Mm-hmm. So that is going to do it for this video. Jenna Lynn, I, I love this chat. This was fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on again. This has been a lot of fun. Oh, it's a lot of fun for me. I'm glad I could share all the fun pictures that I've had um, at my experiences at Disneyland. And I'm really excited for all of you that get to, to run this upcoming weekend. I wish you were there. That would be so much fun. So until then, thank you everybody for watching. Again, if you would like to print out a copy of the maps that Jenilyn used, you want to head on over to joyfulmiles.com. And I will have a blog post link, linked below. Go ahead and print those out. I know I will be. And we're going to be getting every single one of these pictures. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Again, thank you so much for watching. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, take care. And what, Channel Lynn? Have a joyful have day. A joyful day. Are you going to sing like Jackie does? <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> <laughs>